Welcome back, my adoring public, to more Persona 5. Pharaoh Fiasco here. Last episode, we hung out with a bunch of people, and we totally killed it at the batting cages, if I do say so myself. But now, we're actually going to max out Jihaya. There's something I really want to talk to you about. Oh, it's nothing you need to brace yourself for. I just want to tell you face to face. Can I see you? Yeah. And our bond's gonna grow stronger. Let's go right away. Thanks so much. I'll be waiting at the shop. Alright, so she is about to max out. The members seem to be doing well now. I do a phone consultation with them from time to time, and they're all very cheerful. Why do I want to say this is Brina Palencia doing a really high voice? That goes for my fortune teller customers as well. I've been getting thanked a lot more lately, even by the people who get bad fortunes. Particularly when I tell them they can alter their fate. Hey, you seem to be- no, you've changed. That's very true. All I used to say before was that they were going to face misfortune. I had a best friend in the town I used to live in. She was the first person I read a fortune for. When she started avoiding me, I read the fortune of our fate. It was a terrible result. But I prayed that it would somehow work out. Probably didn't. However, that never happened. That's when I started to believe that fate couldn't be changed. No surprise though, right? Because I didn't take action on my part to try and change it. I haven't talked to her in years. Maybe I'll try contacting her sometime. Yeah, dude. Take your own fortune by the helms and steer it. You should. Yeah, you're right. Oh, could this be? Did her fate with her just change? Oh wow. That was I will fast. No longer be swayed by names like monster or maiden. I am simply a fortune teller who provides advice to people with broken spirits so that they will have conviction and face their future without getting pushed around by fate. You tell them. That's the fate I've chosen for myself. Mm, or it could be Valerie Aram doing a really high voice too. I support you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, it's your turn to speak. What would your conviction be as a phantom thief? So this is going to be what it is where our non-party our non -party member confidants, all our confidants actually figuring out who we are because we act highly suspicious with them. Sorry, I used fortune telling to find out your true identity. Oh, that's how she figured it out? I couldn't help but think that you had something to do with the chairman's confession. Then I discovered that you're the trickster who causes a sensation in the world. Yeah. It was the same card as the figure who helped me take down the chairman. <laughs> it finally struck home for me. <laughs> so what if I am the trickster? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. But I don't care what your true identity is. As long as you're around, I can always be my true self. No need to pursue it any longer, then. So, it's fine. Only, the fate of the Phantom Thieves is rather unclear. Not for much longer, though. The Arcana is set in a tricky position. You can almost say it's facing both heaven and hell. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like it. Are you worried about me? There's no time to be worried. We must take action in order to change fate. Right? I'll be by your side. Golden. As the fortune teller who changes fates, I will guide you so you can avoid misfortune. Thank you, Chihaya. <laughs> I feel a strong bond with Chihaya. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Maybe Shryosha? Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of fortune, granting thee infinite power. Maybe it'll be... Shryosha might be justice, though. Special fate reading. 
provides a preview of all abilities for our confidants of your choice. All right. All right. You can now fuse Lakshmi, the most powerful persona of the Wheel of Fortune Arcana. Lakshmi? That's like a mid-level persona otherwise. were in when I read the fortune about your true identity. Several cards with strong personalities gathered around the trickster. Oh, you better believe it. It's quite improbable. It was almost as if it were trying to connect them together. You either have amazing charisma or you're a trouble magnet. Or it might be Philemon interfering. <laughs> the verification tests are over, but don't forget about me, okay? Please. Visit again sometime. Goodbye! Nice! Yet another one maxed, dude. I think that's our third? No, fourth. Because we've got Ryuji, On, Makoto. No, fifth. Ryuji, On, Makoto, uh, Takami, and now Chihaya. Okay, Shibuya people watching. Uh, though I don't want to people watch. Underground walkway. He wants to hang out. Boy. Let's hang out. Slow down. Oh, nice! Here we go! Do you have time today? There is something I would like to show you. And our bond's gonna grow stronger. Yeah. You see, I entered my piece into Kiwana Bay's competition. Moreover, it was accepted. The resulting exhibition is actually going on as we speak. Let us be off. Come, let us go. It is being held at the same museum as last time. Nice! Rank 10 with Yusuke! Wow, that's definitely different from the last thing he made. Yusuke's painting won the competition. Wow! Good job, dude! I still have much to learn, but I finally painted something that I can be satisfied with. Yes. This is the true heart of humanity. The title is Desire and Hope. What do you think? It turned out well. well. I added aspects that were previously lacking. This light is all of you. The Phantom Thieves? The title lists hope, but in my mind, it's a much more concrete thing. I can't believe I didn't realize that until now. Mm. You. Kawanabe. It's a good painting. Huh? It's not trying to be eccentric for the sake of being eccentric. Like the last time. <laughs> okay. To think the same painting can change this much. So this is the answer you've come up with. It is. Desire and hope, I see. Beauty and ugliness. Humans are creatures that possess both. Whoever this guy is, I feel like this might be Igor's voice actor. Though I'm not sure. At the time when I first heard it, I thought Igor might be a computer synthesized voice, but I don't know. It seems you understand that. What are you playing at? <laughs> you provoked Yusuke on purpose. I apologize, although my intent was to encourage you. It was rather crude. Still, I believe that this ploy needed to be done in order to ignite your competitive spirit. But why would you do that? What's your objective? To help. I wanted to do something for you as another person who is free from Matarame's chains. That's all. Wow, dude! Huh? Matarame held a grudge against me for supposedly stealing his customers from him. To start, I couldn't get anyone to rent me space for exhibits. He caused me no end of hardship. This guy, dude. Come on, Matarame. So that's why. Yes, the heart of man is painted with desire, even if it's coated entirely in black at times. However, it seems you have the strength to not look away from it, and chose to stand up against it. If only he had your strength. He? 
Matarame and I go back a long way. First as classmates, then as teachers at the same art school. Really? He's as old as Madarame? He looks way better. He used to have a noble spirit. Said he wanted to aim for the top of the art world one day. Huh. But in the end, even the art world has its share of politics. Those who are cunning win. Our hearts were stained black in that manner. But the human heart is a strange thing. It can't completely separate black from white. Yeah, people are a mix of both. I was shocked when I heard that he took you in. He never liked children, you see. Oh? This happened just before we cut all ties from each other. But I got a call from him. He was panicking that nearby clinics were closed and that his kid had a fever. Sensei. Wow, dude, at one point he really did care, looks like. That was another aspect of him. Yeah. I don't want any more losers like me, or misguided winners like him being born from this world. That's why I started this foundation. So how about it? Would you like our support? <laughs> Without the overbearing marketing production, of course. His Kawanabe turned out to be the coolest guy! It's a truly kind offer. Thank you for your generosity. However, I must respectfully decline. Yusuke's got his own path he's gonna walk, dude. Huh. What makes you say that? I am not Madarame. I won't be stained by desire. After all, I can see hope. If I am lost, they will extend their hands. If I am wrong, they will chastise me. <laughs> that is cool, Yusuke. As long as I have my rays of hope to guide me, I will be fine. Ha! <laughs> Madarame really did have a good eye. <laughs> That's legit. A strange man. <laughs> You're a stranger, Yusuke. For declining his offer? It is a tad wasteful of me to decline. Still, I believe it's for the best. I feel contradictory, but that's the human heart, correct? <sighs> Interesting. That's exactly what I should be painting. It must have been troublesome dealing with me. Nah, dude, Yusuke, you're cool. Eccentric in a way that's not overbearing, too. But for some reason, I knew that you wouldn't abandon me until everything was said and done. Thank you, my friend. I feel a strong bond with Yusuke. Too cool to face the camera. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Emperor, granting thee infinite power what's it gonna be transforms his persona into a mythological trickster all right all right odin goodbye goemon Alright. Yusuke's persona Goemon has transformed into Kamu Susanoo. Okay, so. Oh man. At least it's not a third straight up Susanoo. Now that I'm out of my slump, I need to make up for the time I wasn't able to paint. Like, how does this. Like, Susanoo must be a really big freaking deal, dude, because he's like getting a lot of play as an ultimate persona. My promise to you. I'll extend my assistance to you, should you ever stumble. Now then, shall we go? In order for me to learn more about the heart, we need to work hard on our thief business. Kamu Susanoo. Evade fire. Um. Wow, he's actually got a lot of physical skills we can drop. Heavy physical damage to all foes. We're actually gonna drop Heat Wave over um, Mind Slice. 
Yusuke? Yeah, we, we've never had an issue with getting rid of stuff for Yusuke. Did you see that public opinion survey? There's overwhelming support for Shido-san's party. It's like Shido-mania. A strong leader is just what we need right now. Please change this country, Mr. Shido. Mmm. Nah, not if we've got anything to say about it. Okay. Uh, so, we're gonna see what Haru learns next. And then depending on what it is, we might either go for it or just say F it and do his thing. Hmm. Haru. Next up is Bumper Crop. Increases the total vegetable yield for a single harvest. Um... Yeah, that's actually pretty good. But for now, we're actually going to hang out with Oya. Mm, let's go right away. And we should have um Pazuzu still. Don't give it to me. Need some more info on the Phantom Thieves. So six are pretty little butt down. Can we come closer? And our bond's gonna grow stronger. Yeah, let's hang out with her. I'm expecting a lot from you. Okay, take a seat. Mm. Hey, it's my number one guy. What kind of news you got for me? I'll smack you if it's not good enough. Hey, are you sure you're okay? <laughs> what do you mean? You worried about me, Lollikshan? You're usually kinda... Man, I haven't seen her drink this much in forever. What? I haven't been drinking at all. I'm totally not drunk. <gasps> Did something bad happen? Oh, you're a sharp kid. Truth is, um, my quota got doubled. Her quota? I'm just gonna take like four times as much work to get that much done, though. They're shackling me down so I won't have time for anything else. Ugh, my chief's such a shithead. He must not like you. Yup, that bastard probably knows some. Uh, that bastard probably knows something's up. Damn it! Before this, I was starting to feel like a real journalist again. The rush of investigating Kaio's case, uncovering the dark secrets hidden away by a corrupt society. But now, it's going to be impossible to run my investigation with this quota. That doesn't sound good. Of course it's not good, but what am I supposed to do? They'll fire me if I can't reach my quota. Hey, Lalakshan, if they fire me, can I live here? That still won't help my investigation, though. The incident's over a year old, and the authorities aren't doing shit. <gasps> Maybe Kyle really was the true culprit. You should trust in her. That goes without saying. I mean, if I don't, who will? Watch your temper. What am I doing? I mean, I'm the one who dragged Kayo into politics. It's my fault this ended up happening to her. You know, she started out in book publishing, mostly taking photos of nature and wild animals. She was a genius behind the camera, though. That's why I thought she'd make the perfect partner for me. Hey, you can't blame yourself. Kaio-chan was just as set on exposing the evils of society as you were. Isn't that right? Shit. But, but if I didn't get her involved in the first place... Damn it, that incident is all my fault. That's why I've got to get to the bottom of it. You're a great journalist. Thanks. If I gave up now, I'd just be disgracing that reputation, right? You know, it's weird how calm I get when I'm talking to you. It's almost like you actually understand me. Sorry. Oh, and I'm sorry for snapping at you earlier. The stress must have gotten to me. It's just all this quota business is driving me crazy. I'm gonna have to put all my focus on that for now. I'll still be counting on you phantom thieves for stories, though. As long as you're up for it. It feels like Oya is really starting to rely on me. Devil rank 6. Alright. I think I'm going to have to ease off my investigation for a while, too. I don't need any more eyes on me. But I might be able to ask some of my co-workers for help. 
Journalists will do anything for a scoop. Now then, I'll take any tidbits you have for me today. <laughs> Hope you don't mind if I get back to drinking, though. This whole conversation really sobered me up. Hmm, it's getting late. I'll see you later. Um... I could wait till 9.13. Hmm. That's a Tuesday. Hmm. Two more weeks until Christmas. Do you already have plans? I'm just gonna glue myself to the TV. I've gotta watch the specials on Akichi-kun and Shido-san. Uh, I wish I had a boyfriend like Akichi-kun. A cool dad like Shido-san wouldn't be bad either. Keep dreaming. But I totally get where you're coming from. Having Shido as your dad? The thought makes me sick. Could you really stand having a dad that des has destroyed people's lives for his own benefit? What would happen to this country if someone like that became the Prime Minister? We can't let him win. No matter what. There's no way we're going to let you have your way, Shido. Okay. Oh. Mm. Hey. Time's almost up. We need to fight. Okay. Nope. No training. Uh, we're going to save. This. And then we're actually going to... Dang, she's only rank 4, but it's going to have to do, dude. Okay. Hideout Cafe. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Oh, there you are! We don't have much time left, so let's hurry up and head into the palace. Yep. Let's infiltrate palace. Okay, let's go. Oh no, I didn't buy any of Takami's new medicine! Oh crap. Oh well. Come on, let's we'll go. head to the central corridor first. That's where the doors to the main assembly hall were. Got it. Let's get going. Okay. We'll save. And then... Hmm. I just saved. I actually don't remember doing that. Oh, well. Um... Now nah, we... We're good. Or actually, that was like one minute ago. Hold on. We're gonna load that save data and go to, um... What should we call it? I should write something. Nope, that's not right. There we go. System. Load data. And this one from one minute prior. All right. And I think we're probably standing. Yeah, we're standing in a room. Oh, godlike. Okay, so inside LeBlanc. Uh, let's go back to inside LeBlanc. Or, what the heck? Clinic, there it is. <laughs> okay, inside, I don't know why I had LeBlanc in the clinic messed up for a second. An election at a time like this? Ugh, I'm too lazy to vote. Oh, I guess that doesn't concern you yet. So, what are you here for today? Uh, I want to buy something. Please head to the exam room. Okay. What would you like? So she's got the good stuff now. Magic ointments and physical ointments! Homunculus. Revival. Revives all fallen allies with 50% HP. Holy god! With full HP. You want that one? Uh, yeah. Hmm. And then. Some more talking medic all Z's, definitely. Here you go. Um, no harems. Let's get three of these to make seven. Five of ooh, five of these to make seven. Alert capsule. Three of these to make seven. Kaja clears. Now nah, we're fine there. Life ointment. Three of these to make seven. Rejuvenating IV. You want that one? Um. Let's get five of these. Why not? Hmm. Uh. 
Hockey Medic All Z. Let's get eight more of these. Here you go. Mmm, Revival. You want that one? Thanks. Homunculus, Physical Ointment. That should work. Let's get seven, no, six of these. Here you go. So we have seven of each. Wow, dude, that's godlike. Okay. Take care. Now let's head in. Hideout Cafe. Whew. Hey, we're all here. There you are. Ain't this shit getting bad? We gotta change that bastard Cheeto's heart soon. Uh, infiltrate palace? No. Yeah, infiltrate palace. All right, I'm gonna bust loose. Are you really now? Mm. Let's. Since Yusuke's got Kamu Susanoo now, we'll, we're definitely putting him in the party. Persona, or no, not Persona, stats. So you want Yusuke, hmm. Makoto, and Haru, why not? Let's do it. And then we'll save once more in this slot. Okay, and now Central Passage, and we can start getting those five VIP cards. We're here. Let's continue on. Mm. Wow. Cool. But I guess this is a luxury cruise ship. Well, then. Now then, let's keep going. We know the identities of the five VIPs. Yep, yep. A politician, a former noble, a TV station president, an IT company president, and that cleaner guy. Hmm. According to the map, there should be a restaurant up ahead. Indeed. That's where the politician should be, yes? Let us go check it out. All they need is to throw the battles at me, dude, and I'll take care of the freaking rest. It's somewhere. I cannot believe Shido is 53, dude. Oh yeah, wasn't there someone up here who was wanting to fight us before? Guess that shadow's gone now. Okay. It's all masked dudes in here, too? We might be able to gain intel from talking to them. Just don't ask any suspicious questions, okay? I can feel it. Hmm. I guess... Can't talk to them. These guys, we can immediately just murderize, though. Not worried about them at all. A Dokkany and a Narcissus. Definitely nothing new. Alright, and Narcissus has returned to us. All is right with the world. Alright. And now we can keep going. Um, I think there was one more here. Oh, this guy. Let's gather some intel. My, this ship is such a comfortable ride. I must say, I am absolutely impressed. It's no wonder the stability is superb. This is Congressman Shido's vessel, after all. <laughs> Quite true. I may have undergone hardships in my youth, but now a life of leisure is finally mine. Uh. But, no, can't talk to this guy either. Oh, a Cerberus. Too bad we've already got one on our side, though. I was able to fuse one up. Um, a, a Cerberus and some Sarasvatis. Okay, so everybody was burned. It wasn't... <laughs> not everybody, but half our party was burned. Oh, new levels. Okay. Diarahan. We are actually not going to learn Diarahan. We're going to hang on to Mediarama. Mafredine. Man. But my Freydine is way better for us. I mean, not my Freydine, my Diorama. We've got... I'm assuming that the only person who's going to learn Mediara Hand is uh, Morgana. But even so, her being able to heal all of us for most of our HP is better than her being able to heal one of us for all of our HP. Yeah, see? It totally works. Where? Maybe if we head up. So we've definitely killed everything on this floor. Um, yeah, we've talked to him. Something you wouldn't know about, dude. A politician with responsibility. This freaking guy. 
Oh, I guess we need to go down. Hmm. Okay, and there's more shadows here. That reminds me, have you tried the restaurant ahead? Oh, not quite yet. I hear it has received high praise from a famous congressman. <laughs> Correct you are, the good sir visits it almost every day. So it's the restaurant that's up ahead we want to go to. And that's after we get the drop on this guy. Alright, but we've got a pretty surefire... As far as being able to recruit even demons with, um, or shadows rather, right. with no weaknesses, we've got a surefire way of doing so. If we encounter another Dokkany, then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But, it's gotta be a Dokkany. Come on! Hopefully we can get one here. No, two Narcissuses. Uh, I guess we're actually pretty strong. Those guys went down pretty easily. Nice. Level 56, finally. 229 SP. That's what matters. Snipe. Automatically reduces the time needed to recover from ailments by half. I'm sorry, it's a really good skill, but... One shot kill. Severe gun damage to one foe with high chance of critical. I mean, it'll pair better with Snipe, and we want her to be able to use her Psy and Gun skills effectively, so. Skill. She can just use Diorama. Oh, it's locked. Huh. And, up. Oh. Okay, we're going to have to take a look at that combination, and uh, I'll show you guys what I mean. That's all going to be next time, though, so definitely join me then for more Persona 5. Bye for now, guys.